Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I just got off work. Actually, I'm still here. At, actually, I'm still here at work. Uh, yeah, I need to clean up around here. So, might start up the pigeon trapping again. Which I really, really want to. Found a place. Actually, a buddy of mine told me that a place was looking for someone to trap pigeons, and it's a spot that Bobby and I have been looking at for a long time and just never really stopped in. And I think Bobby stopped in today and talked to him about it. And if uh, what he said over the phone is exactly how it is, you guys are gonna wanna see this. But I'm gonna go meet him, uh, and uh, it should be interesting because there's a lot of nests apparently, and uh, a lot of space, a lot of birds, a lot, a lot of birds. Well, Bobby set this trap. There's four birds already. Solid black, blue uh, ooh, two blue checks, and a blue bar. How long did you have this up here for? Uh, I don't think any more than five hours. Good grief. Well. Sorry for the... It's not even an awkward transition. It's just like no transition. But I am on lunch break and gotta go check those pigeon traps. So, I'll pick you guys up when I'm there. But I got water and all sorts of stuff and I wanna get to these birds before it gets too hot today. So, headed out there. Hopefully we have some birds. Well, there's nothing in the trap, but I didn't get it rebaited last night. There's nothing to draw them into the doors. So I brought stuff with me, but let's get some water in here for these guys. It's not really warm today, but being up here on this roof with the sun hitting you, I can't imagine it feels good all day. So they shouldn't be able to spill that. That's nice, heavy, heavy crock. Put some water in there. Then we're gonna bait it. Now yesterday I didn't do a very good job of filming at all because I was just blown away by the pure amount of stuff and birds and just overall nastiness that's here. Uh, this place has been the place for pigeons to hang out for ever. Like most all the birds that I know of in the city, they come hang out here and they head back or they hang out here for a long time. But let me show you some of this stuff. There's just dead birds and feces everywhere. There's also babies. Eggs just strewn about. A couple babies next to the dead birds there. Another nest there. There's just nests and eggs everywhere. Back here. I don't even, I mean, what? Why? See, that one makes sense. What, what's that about? What's up, buddy? It's just crazy and nasty up here. So, they have a big pigeon problem. Bobby and I are helping them out. So, hopefully we can catch a bunch of them here and just absolutely smash them. But, uh, I gotta go back to work. But we'll be back uh, after I get off work. But I'm guessing, with the grain on the outside, that we'll catch, we'll catch. We'll have some today. Um, I took those four others home yesterday. I had to babysit with the kids running around, get them fed, you know, baths, all that stuff. I did not have time to film last night. So I got the birds in a quarantine pen, makeshift one. Uh, I'll get my actual pens made sometime. Broke my saw the other day. So I got to figure out what to do now, but we'll get it figured out. So see you in the afternoon. It has gotten windy, like ridiculously windy. So it's the afternoon. I got bad news. There's nothing in the trap. I've already rebaited. There's birds everywhere on the roof. But, you know, can't win them all. Uh, we'll probably come back tomorrow. Hopefully there'll be some there. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go home, check on the loft, see how that's all doing. And uh, hopefully something exciting is happening there. So, uh, I know this isn't the most exciting video ever. It's all pigeons. It is what it is. But, if you guys like pigeons, this ought to be a good video for you. Well, I'm at home. Here is my used to be rabbit hutches. Now they're quarantine pens. 
This is the only one that's actually working. Actually, half of it's only working. There's two doors. Two doors on that one, too. Actually, that one might work, too. I'm not sure. This one has a hole in the floor. That doesn't work so well with all the cats around here. But here are the four that we caught yesterday, which I didn't do a good job filming. Please forgive me. The black one's working. That black hen down there, she was a little bit loopy to start out with, but I think she just needed some water. So she's acting better today though. Hopefully they act normal and in a few weeks, I can put them up in the big loft. Speaking of the big loft, let's go see what's going on there. Now, I will tell you that it's really windy outside and I'll just tell you up there. You can't tell right now, but more birds are starting to sit over in this side, which is good because I want them to use the whole thing. The one thing I do want to say is there has been an owl and one of the feral birds, you know, fancy looking feral, but one of them, they've been sitting up in this one right here. I don't know if you can see or not, but there is a couple of eggs in here. Yeah. Super dark footage, really cringy, sorry. But there's a nest in there. Hopefully it's an owl cross. I wish it was an owl pair, but most likely it's an owl cross, which really should result in some interesting looking birds though. I mean, maybe I'll get like a nice saddle feral bird. I, I don't know. It'll be kind of cool though. Everyone's eating. Well, now no one's eating. There are a good amount of babies on the ground. Well, what used to be babies? These guys are all squeakers that have been kicked out of nest because mom and dad are making another set of squeakers. Anyway, let's see if I can find some. Oh, look at you, bud. They grow up so fast. Well, down here, this is a feral and a pure white cross. Putting out some cool grizz. I don't even, it's not even really a grizz. Kind of is. Cool looking little bird. Where's your brother, buddy? His brother, his brother went underneath the floorboard, so I actually can't find him. He'll be back though. Well, we got a set of eggs there. And check this out. I'm not sure who the parents are. We got some babies. Looks like they're gonna be dark feathered, but that's cool. Who knows, maybe they got some like white flights there. I don't know. Baby pigeons are cool. Uh, I'm gonna go grab the ladder because I have it in a while. We're gonna go check the up top. And we're gonna check out the up top nest. It's been a little while. I'm kinda curious what's going on up there. Oh my goodness, everyone went to the other side to eat out a little bucket. You guys lost? I don't know why, but I really like pigeons. They're just so much fun. As bright. All right. I'm sure there's gonna be babies up here because it's been a little bit. Nothing? What about you? Nothing? Well, that's not a good start. Ooh, a white one. Hey, buddy. Check out this little gremlin here. All white, baby. We'll go ahead and get rid of his brother, though. It's always a bummer when something doesn't hatch. But worst things that happen, so uh, we still have four or five more spots to check. Let's go look at them. So, let me show you some things. We've got a single egg there. On this side, we have a brand new set of babies. Let me get that out of the way, bud. Look at how cute they are. These gotta be like, I bet they hatched yesterday, maybe the day before. They are so tiny. Here, let me find some light. Look how little they are. He probably looks huge, but um, he's a little guy. Look how big he is compared to my thumb. I mean, he's a little guy. There's a squeaker. He looks pretty nice. 
Looks like he's wearing a fancy tuxedo. Over here, can't really see him very well, but it's a really dark check set of squeakers. Not really dark set of squeakers though. Um, that's what produced that really, really cool bird last time, that red one. It's amazing what colors pigeons can throw. I have no idea what dictates it. I, okay, all you people that know genetics, I know that there's a way to tell. This time, two really dark, maybe black checks. Last time, a pretty red pheasant looking thing. I, I'm, I, crazy to me. That's not a ton of birds, but still, I mean, the loft is producing well. They're eating good. Uh, I'm trying to keep really good care of them. And uh, the trapping's starting to pick up. I, I know I was gonna lay off the trapping for a while. But Bob talked me into it. He's like, dude, the birds are there. Let's get into it. But you know, when in Rome, trap pigeons. So I'm not in Rome, just so you know. I, I'm not there. Be kinda cool to go sometime. Okay guys, uh, it's the next day. Back here checking traps again. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's a pigeon sitting right there, right there. Hoping if I'm sneaky enough, I can sneak up and maybe grab one. Really low chance, but what do I got to lose? It'd be a bonus if something was actually in the trap today. That'd be cool too. We haven't caught anything since the first day, which I didn't really film. You'll be coming up on Bobby's channel here before too long, but uh, let's see how this goes. Oh, there's something in the trap. Well, that's good. Oh, dang. Look. Holy crap. There are a lot of birds hanging out in the shade over here. Wow. Look at them just floating in. Anyway, uh, so we caught some birds, it looks like. What we got? Eight? Ten? I gotta go get, the, I gotta go get my, uh, the cage, because, uh, we got some birds. All right, uh, let's get, let's get all these birds out of, uh, this trap here. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of birds in a very little cage. I'm pretty sure they'll be, I'm pretty sure they'll fit, though. in there 10 exactly and what I'm doing is it seemed like there were a lot of them I'm wondering if a decoy bird would help a lot so uh, we got skunk yesterday maybe tomorrow will be even better I'm gonna leave one decoy bird I'm gonna rebait this thing get him some water and uh, see what tomorrow holds this, this is pretty exciting I mean shoot nine that's crazy to me I'm super excited like that is a heck of a haul one day, 10 birds. I mean, I'm leaving one, so I'm taking home nine. But uh, I think that a decoy bird is gonna pay off. We'll find out tomorrow. See how that all goes. But I really think it'll pay off. Anyway, let's get these birds home. All right, we're back here at the house. Gotta put these guys in the second quarantine pen that I have. Temporary quarantine pen. It's uh, they're old rabbit hutches that I've had that I haven't thrown away yet because I thought maybe I could use them for something. Turns out I can. So, gotta put them over in this spot. Oh shush. Got water, feed. Now we're gonna put nine pigeons in. We got, with the one that we left there, we have four blue bars, and there's one, I think, black check, and the rest are all blue checks. Well, there they are. They like going back there in the solid ground. They don't really like the wire too much. But, they're gonna be in here for a while. All right, guys, I haven't quarantined birds in a long time. I really, really need you guys to tell me how long they need to be in quarantine. So go down there, drop me a comment, tell me what the correct amount of quarantine time is. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, I'm sorry that it's kind of patched together. It kind of happened, obviously, over a few days, and I wasn't sure what was all going to go down. But uh, it's ending really, really well. I'm really, really excited about it. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one.